now i've learned the fundamental quant how do i know where i stand you'll have to learn consolidate then benchmark so learn do a bunch of nice simple questions so the ideas get automated if you're looking at two equations you should be thinking a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 unique solution not processing and worrying you should just know that automatically you look at a quadratic equation you should be able to tell some of the roots product of the roots automatically without sitting and processing right then do questions of the level of difficulty that you are likely to see in cat or just above cat so once you have consolidated that's when you have to benchmark and throughout don't worry about speed if your ideas are automated and you do questions with variety then speed will automatically come speed is an output variable you do practice speed will come you can't practice with speed in mind it'll come it will definitely come fine uh, the cross linking across topics is very good very high you learn up three four topics you get better in the other three four topics automatically give it a chance for that to happen fine right? so do, do, don't don't get worked up and because you're not seeing the benefits straight away quant is the elephant in the room go step by step but don't worry about speed and reiterate and iterate when you're finishing off with arithmetic and you go on to geometry that is when in your overall schedule you can bring in dlr as well when you're bringing in geometry learn geometry from first principles then go to trigonometry mensuration coordinate geometry it's absolutely pointless to try to do coordinate geometry and mensuration without covering geometry if the geometry is in place mensuration is a walk trigonometry is just an extension and coordinate geometry is just adding some numbers and algebra to it nothing more fine so get geometry completely in the bag before going to the other three if you're hard pressed for time between algebra and number theory honestly you can even dump one of the two you you get total of 7 8 questions in both of these put together usually fine so number theory we've had one or two questions from that topic each year pnc one or two each year so there isn't there isn't much to lose if you if you don't go to town doing fancy questions and what should one not to do in quants first one don't fret about speed from very early on speed will come give it a chance to stay within a reasonably narrow range of difficulty if cat is at a certain level plus 20% minus 15% is fine but very often you go to i i see all the forums on the internet and, and, and groups and pages and when i see obscenely tough questions and i see the you know the level of difficulty it's it's it's, it's out of whack with the reality you're not going to get questions of that diffi- that level of difficulty and so don't uh, don't don't overshoot your level of difficulty too much keep that in mind 